Ever since Dane found a baby abandoned on the beach a few weeks back, he has been developing an unhealthy attachment to the newborn. As those around him explained that the mother or father who left the baby was most likely seriously struggling, Tane dismissed their concerns, when you have a baby, you should do anything for them, no matter the cost. He soon found himself spending day and night at the hospital, not wanting to hurt her out of his sight, as Rose began the search to find her parents. Tane ended up naming the baby Maya, the Maori word for courage, and while Rose explained that the name should never leave the hospital room for fear that it may make the real parents feel further disassociated from the child, it wasn't long until word spread. Peter Rolf, a journalist from the Coastal News, tricked Dana into revealing the baby's new name and Tane's attachment to her, by inviting her for a drink and making her believe he was romantically interested in her. A scathing article soon followed, painting Tane as the bad guy as it questioned his obsession with baby Maya, whilst also bringing up the fact that both of his late brothers, Mika Ere and Ari, had done time behind bars. Dana was devastated when she realized that she'd been tricked and Tane gave her a serve when she tried to apologize to him at the hospital. In the meantime, Tane had been considering becoming the baby's emergency foster carer, but soon learned from Harper that his lack of permanent residency in Australia would prevent him from doing so. Felicity briefly considered fostering Maya herself, looking for a way to build back the emotional connection with her estranged husband, but Tane soon shot her down. When the Coastal News Journal later turned up at Northern Districts wanting to give Tane a right to reply, Tane lashed out, and found himself banned from the hospital when Peter put in a complaint. Suddenly, he was unable to even visit the baby he was growing so close to. Maya's health takes a turn this week as she develops a high temperature. Dana tries explaining to Tane that it's nothing to worry about, but Tane begins to freak out and rushes to Northern Districts, demanding to see her. He's quickly confronted by doctors and the police, who tell him that he needs to stay away or they'll have no choice but to take out an AVO, apprehended violence order, against him. He knows that he needs to listen to them and stay away, but his heart is telling him otherwise. Will his attachment to Maya cause him to do something stupid? While this is going on, Rue, Georgie Parker, continues to mull over the idea of fostering baby Maya herself. Tane suggested it to her last week when she frustratedly exclaimed that there must be someone out there, and she realized that it might just work. This week, as Alf, Raymar, discusses the bold plan with his daughter, he tells Rue, it's a matter of whether or not you can take on a baby. Well I think I can, Rue responds. As has been briefly mentioned since the storyline began, the discovery of the baby has brought up painful memories of Rue who gave her own daughter Martha up for adoption back in 1988. Will she see fostering Maya as a way to make up for her past actions? Also this week, Cash, Nicholas Cartwright, makes a bold move of his own, and it could put even more strain on his relationship with Eden, Stephanie Panazzo. Former senior constable Cash has spent the past few weeks as bodyguard for famous actress Stevie Marlowe, Catherine Van Davis who needs protecting from a stalkerish fan who has been making her life hell. Cash demanded that Stevie move off her very public yacht and into an anonymous hotel apartment, explaining that she wasn't safe while the stalker was still on the loose. While Cash's girlfriend Eden was initially excited that Cash was looking after a celebrity, she quickly grew tired of the long hours, as Cash gave in to Stevie's demands for him to spend more and more time with her. Last week saw danger for the pair as a teddy bear turned up outside the apartment door, having been sent by a fan via her agent. Cash carefully unstitched it to find a camera inside, and it wasn't long before a candid photo of the pair appeared on social media, with the caption eyes on Stevie and her boyfriend. This week, when another photo appears on the Stevie Marlowe Fan 2346 account, showing the outside of the hotel where they're staying alongside the caption I know where you are, Cash panics. They've been found.